Would you say you're the most productive you could possibly be? If we're being honest with ourselves, the answer is likely no, but that's okay because that means you are human and there's room to grow. For some of us, we create schedules or write down action items on a to-do list. Completing any tasks, work or life related feels good. And this is why Kanban works so well. When using Kanban as your productivity technique, you separate your projects across a single board divided by columns. Those columns are typically labeled to do, in progress and finished. Moving your tasks across the board is not only satisfying, but it helps boost your productivity. I'm Alex with Jotform, and if you're new to Kanban, stick around. In today's video, we'll discuss why it works and some of the best Kanban workflow systems. Let's go. The word Kanban roughly translates to visual sign or card in Japanese. It all started back in the 1940s at Toyota. The engineers wanted a better way to match their inventory with customer demand, and so Kanban was born. This method helped them visually see the steps in their manufacturing process. Not only did Toyota's new method significantly reduce waste, but it also improved productivity. So why does Kanban work so well, you ask? It's a simple concept. No major learning curve or special skills are required to put Kanban to good use. The human brain processes images 60,000 times faster than words. In fact, most of the information sent to your brain is visual. Even when holding a conversation with someone, you're constantly picking up visual cues in body language and facial expression, and your brain processes them at lightning speed. Kanban works to your brain's strengths by putting your workflows into visuals. If you work with a team of developers, Kanban is a great tool to implement if you aren't already. In fact, many software companies and development teams already use the Kanban system. Typically, product, feature, and bug fix projects are backlogged until space on the Kanban board opens up. That's right, when one project is completed, another is quickly added to the board. Once it's on the Kanban board, the task is assigned to a developer and they're off to the races. Using Kanban between developers and non-technical team members can be helpful as well. Your non-tech teams can be in the know when it comes to your developer's process of creating landing pages, blog posts, designed emails, data requests, and more. Enough boasting about how great the Kanban system is. Let's get to using it. When it was originally created, Kanban was made up of a physical whiteboard, sticky notes, and a marker. You'd write the names of projects on the sticky note, then move the note across the columns as the particular project got closer to completion. You can still use the physical Kanban method if you're a tactile learner and like the physical representation of your productivity process. However, if you're looking for a digital solution that can be easily implemented into your team's workflow, there are lots of digital Kanban options. Here are four of our favorites. First up is Asana. This project management software does it all, including boosting your team's productivity. Asana has a great calendar view that works well for managing projects as well as their Kanban feature. Asana wasn't originally designed to be a Kanban tool, but it does a great job being one nonetheless. Just use Asana's boards layout. From there, you create a new task, name it, label it, assign it, and add any necessary subtasks. Then you can add due dates and even switch to their stellar calendar view to see each month's deliverables. If you work with a lot of collaborators and none of them have used the Kanban method before, look to Trello for help. Trello provides a great introduction to Kanban. A fun feature unique to Trello is its ability to customize the background and color of your Trello board. Doing so can make it stand out from the other boards you're using as well as give you some inspiration. Also, adding columns, cards, and labels in Trello is as simple as a click. Perhaps your team does a lot of its communication via Gmail. If that's the case, Sorted might be a great Kanban option for you. Sorted has the same look and feel as Trello, but it's built for your Gmail inbox. Centralizing your Kanban in your inbox takes away unnecessary steps like migrating all of your requests to another system. It's all in one place. As mentioned before, Kanban is a great method for software developer teams, and Jira is the perfect system to do just that as it has a bit more oomph than the other options listed. However, 
with extra oomph comes extra complexity, meaning it's a bit harder to figure out. If your work is a bit more complicated and has a lot of moving pieces, Gyra will be a great resource that can match that energy. When it comes to team productivity, Kanban is one of the best techniques out there. Let's review. You can take Kanban in the old school route with a whiteboard, sticky notes, and a marker. Or you can go digital with these four systems, Asana, Trello, Sorted, and Gyra. I'm Alex with Jotform. Thanks for watching. Thank you.